Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie Anshi. In this video on my channel, we are going to see how you can expand and collapse a table and show multiple levels of hierarchy using a same view. This is also called as an accordion table. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So let's dive right into this video. The first step over here is to get connected to the data source, which is going to be our sample superstore data. Once you connect to this source and go ahead to the data pane and click on edit data source, you can see that this table, which is the orders table, is connected to two other tables, which is people and return. Currently, we do not need them. So I'm just going to go ahead, right click and remove them from here. What we'll need here is to be able to create a union of the order table with itself. So right now, if you see, I'm just pulling up the orders table back on itself and creating a union. This order table now contains two tables, which is the union of the orders table itself. Now, if you go into the data and look at all of these different columns, you will notice that there are two more columns that are added to the data source. Those are the table name and the sheet name. This will help us identify which of the data is coming from which of these different sources. So let's go ahead first and remove the hierarchy for the product because that's something we do not need right now. First, go ahead and pull the category onto the row shelf. Now you can see furniture, office supplies and technology in your rows for category. Next, pull in the table name. As I said, there are two table names, one for order and the other for orders one. We'll first go ahead and create a set on the category field, which is the category set. And we will not select any of the values from the dropdown. You can see the set is now created. We'll keep this because this is needed in some calculations. Next, let's go ahead and start creating the arrow calculation. Create a calculated field. Let's call this as arrow. This is going to be a simple if else condition where if the table name is equal to orders and the category set, then we want to show the down arrow. To download the down arrow, you could go to Google and search for the triangle symbols and find all of these decimal hex codes for them. You can paste that over here or else I can also link this calculation to the description box below. Else if the table name is equal to orders one and the not category set. So this is how the calculation is going to look like. Then we want to have the arrow that's facing towards the right. So again, let's copy that and put it over here. Else double quotes, double quotes, which is nothing and end. This is our calculation for the arrows and just click on OK. Now pull in the arrows onto the row shelf. You can see the arrows next to the order one. Next, we are going to create a calculated field to show the category or subcategory based on our selection. Let us call this calculation as category slash subcategory. Again, this is a simple if else condition. If the table name is equal to orders, then subcategory else category. And with that, we will end this particular calculation. Now let's pull in this calculation again onto our row shelf. As you can see, the furniture, bookcase, and all the different categories and subcategories showing under each of those different table names that we have over here. Now we need to pull in the measure values to the text and the measure names to the column shelf. Once you do that, you can see all the different measures over here. You can choose and select the ones that you really need on the dashboard and fit the width. Once you do that, you can see all the measures to the right and then all the dimensions on the left side. Some of these things like the category and the table name are not required. You can just go ahead, right click and uncheck the show header. With that, we can also go ahead and format the headers for the arrow and subcategory. Just change it to white. And this is how the table will start to look like. Next, let's go ahead and create the filter calculation. Again, 
this is going to be a simple calculation that returns a yes or no. So here we are going to say if the table name is equal to orders or category set then it will return as true right so we'll change the filter to orders one not orders and just pull this onto the filter shelf just click on true and you can see all of our values showing here you can format this and just make the headings as you would like i'm just increasing the font size to a bit and changing the background to black to make sure it looks neat right so here is our collapsible table that is created but we are still yet to add the action for that let's first pull in the sheet we have created onto a dashboard once you do that you can also increase the size of your rows as you would want now go to dashboard click on actions over here we'll have to create a set action to change the values so go ahead name the set action you'll have to select the target set which is our category set in this condition assign values to set and remove all values from set have to be checked click on ok and again ok for this action to work now if you click on these arrows you can see how this expands and if you click on it again then it collapses you can again do the same thing for the others you could also click on one of these measures on the top like the discount or the profit and if you click on it again then it will collapse and expand but this will collapse and expand the entire table not just a single row if you also notice one more thing over here for example for the office supplies the subcategories are showing on the top and then the total for the office supplies shows in the bottom but for some people, they might want to see the office supplies on the top and then all the different subcategories followed by it, right? So I'll also show you a method over here in this video on how you can do that as well by just editing these calculations we just created. For that, let's go back to our sheet and start editing the calculations we already have. For the arrow calculation, we are just going to change the first uh, row over here with a knot and remove the knot from the second part and just interchange the arrow buttons over here as well. So if you interchange these, the first one would be a right facing arrow and the second one would be a down facing arrow. Also remove orders one. Instead, we need orders as part of the second condition. For the filters, we'll again edit this and instead of orders one, this will be orders and click on OK. Also, the category and the subcategory calculation needs to be edited. This will be the table name should be equal to orders one. Now, if you see the furniture stays on top and then you can further expand it and see all the different subcategories belonging to this particular category. There are a few shortcomings of this technique like the performance with a large data set will be slow because you are self joining or self unioning this data. This cannot be expanded by multiple selections and you have to create all these different categories to be able to achieve this. With this, you should be able to create your own accordion table which can expand and collapse bases how your users select it. I hope you guys learned something out of this video today. If you did, please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button because I keep coming up with a lot of different videos on Tableau and if you liked it, then please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.